you know. So I could see Lynch's side of this, but we also could realize, you know, you're getting paid millions of dollars, you know, millions of dollars. So put up with it. Just put up with the questions. Just you have to listen to them and hear about them for the first, you know, 10, 15 minutes after they talk to you and then move on because you got to think about it. All of them want to be like you. So, you know, you don't really have to pay attention to those guys. That's what someone needs to just tell Marshawn Lynch to say, hey, just put up with it for the 10, 15 minutes. You got to hear him. If it's even that, might be even five minutes. And then just get out. This is not the Super Bowl anymore. You're not going to have to talk to him for multiple days, for uh, an hour or more. You're not going to have to do multiple interviews. Just do what you got to do for the five, 10 minutes that they're asking you questions and move on and get prepared for the next game. That's all it is. I wish Marshawn Lynch would do that, clear up his... He's not a bad guy. When have we heard, other than in the past when he was in Buffalo, when have we heard Marshawn Lynch has been in trouble? I mean, we haven't heard any law trouble that he's been in in Seattle. Maybe he got a ticket for speeding or something. But he's never a, a, a troublemaker. You don't see him punching players on the field, ripping off helmets. No, it's not a bad guy. So, you know, I think a lot of media is kind of criticizing him. The NFL is trying to just attack him because he's not like, a Brady, he's not like um, an RG3 that just, you know, loves to talk and loves to laugh. Just a guy that just plays football and minds his own business. So let's let him do that, right? Why do we got to find him? I mean, I know Roger Goodell wants to find everybody for, you know, buying a new car, but let's just relax a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And Seahawks, I really hope they keep Marshawn Lynch. He's a perfect fit for that offense. You know, I believe they probably should have drafted Eddie Lacy when they had the chance, you know, a few years ago. You know, having him be just like Marshawn, the, the way they play, boom, that would have been epic, even though they didn't need a running back at the time. Think about the future. But anyways, yeah, let's go with that. Uh, Arizona Cardinals wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald is scheduled to undergo an MRI on Monday to determine the seriousness of an injury suffered to the MCL in his left knee. Uh, Fitzgerald left for the locker room in the final two minutes of the first half after taking a hit on the third down pass from quarterback Drew Stanton. Yeah, he's still in the NFL, by the way. Uh, But Fitzgerald did return for the second half. Cardinals have the best record, and guess who they play next week? The Seattle Seahawks. Uh, And it's in Seattle. So they're obviously going to need Larry Fitzgerald for that game to continue success, especially when Drew Stanton is your quarterback. You need about every offensive weapon as much as possible. Um but I don't think for Cardinals fans reading this report, I don't think you should panic just yet. I think you should wait. We all know Larry Fitzgerald, the toughness that he has. Let's just wait on that for a little bit. Uh, tight end Julian Th- Julius Thomas and running back Monty Ball and wide receiver Emmanuel Sanders all suffered injuries in a 22-7 loss to the, to the Rams. Yeah, the Broncos lost to the Rams 22-7. With Peyton Manning, he was healthy. He was healthy. Uh, Julius Thomas... Played just two series for the Broncos before leaving the game with an ankle injury and did not return. He had x-rays on his ankle at the stadium and was diagnosed with just a sprain. Uh, Sanders, though, he was hit by Ram safety Rodney McLeod early in the third quarter as Sanders dove for a pass uh, near the Broncos' sideline. Sanders remained in the game, down, or may, excuse me, remained down on the field for a few moments and was later ruled out for the rest of the game after being taken to the locker room and being evaluated for concussions uh and then monty ball this is a lot right here who missed five games with the right groin injuries he suffered october 5th against the cardinals limped off the field early in the second quarter as he after he tried to catch a pass for manning and monty ball did not return so yeah there's all that all of that led to a 22 to 7 loss to the rams this tells me the patriots are the best team in the nfl right now they are the best defense is is shutting out teams. They're dominating home and away, and offensively, they continue to roll. Pay, drop, blah, blah, blah. Just said a whole lot of different names. Tom Brady is in. I believe he's the MVP right now. He is the MVP. Tom Brady. So with all that, let's recap Week Eleven of the NFL, and that is if my tablet would work. My Chargers, thirteen to six. A, Victory over a winless Raider team. I'm telling you guys. I am telling you. This 
is not the year for the Chargers. They, they, and uh, if you haven't seen their schedule, that's about to happen. They're about to enter a gauntlet that they're most likely not going to survive. They have next week the Rams at home, then who just beat the Broncos pretty handedly. I don't, I don't want to hear about injuries. They still have Peyton Manning. You still win with Peyton Manning. They beat the Broncos. Then we have at the Ravens, tough game. Home against the New England Patriots, and then home against the Denver Broncos. I'm looking possibly beating the Rams, you know, hopefully, because their offense is just not the best. One and three out of that stretch. That is ridiculous. We just had a bye week, so the rest of the games, it's all gauntlet. I mean, I, I think we have the 49ers, you know, the last game of the year, but uh, it's it's not looking good. It's not looking good for the Chargers right now. Uh, the Vikings lose to the Bears 21 to 13. Jay Cutler, 330 yards and three touchdowns. Matt Forte, uh, buck 17 on the ground. And also, Alshon Jeffrey, 135 yards receiving. Excuse me, allergies are killing me right now. That's one thing I don't like being in Central Texas. Ah, they're all of me. Okay, sorry about that. Blah, blah, blah. Texans uh, defeated the Browns 23 to 7. Brian Hoyer, 330 yards. They need to run the ball more. Browns need to run the ball a whole lot more. But how about Ryan Mallett in his first NFL start? 211 passing yards, two touchdowns. Alfred Blue, though, I had him on my fantasy team. Yes, sir. Gave 15 points, I do believe. Uh, 156 rushing yards, no touchdowns, though. Uh, but 36 carries. Alfred Blue is a star in the making. Just watch. Uh, Seahawks lose to the Kansas City Chiefs 24-20. to um, Yeah, how that happened, I don't know. Seahawks, gotta help me out. The Chiefs are right there with the Broncos now. They have the same record at 7-3, and three, I do believe. Uh, where are the Broncos at? Where are the Broncos at? Yep, 7-3. and three, Chargers are one game behind. Bron- how about the Chiefs, though? I believe the six straight victories. They were out of it in the beginning of the year. Tells you, you're never out of it, I guess. Uh, the Falcons defeat the Panthers 19-17. Uh, to 17. Believe it or not, Falcons are tied first in the NFC South and could make a playoff spot at a 4-6 and six record. Yeah. Just saying. Playoffs need to change, baby. Uh, Bengals defeat the Saints 27-10. to 10. Buccaneers defeat the Redskins 27-7. Uh, of course, the Rams beat the Broncos 22 to seven. Like that's normal. Of course they did. Trey Mason though, 113 yards, no touchdowns, but awesome job. Kenny Britt, 128 uh, receiving yards. These gashed the Broncos. Uh, 49ers barely defeat the Giants 16 to 10. Colin Kaepernick not so good. 15 to 29, 193 yards and one touchdown. Eli Manning, five interceptions. Yes, Eli Manning, one touchdown, five interceptions. Huge day if you hit the 49ers as your defense on fantasy. Uh, Eagles get blown out by the Green Bay Packers. 53-20, to 20, Aaron Rodgers, 22 of 36, 341 yards, three passing touchdowns. Eddie Lacy, 69 rushing yards and a touchdown. And Randall Cobb, 129 yards receiving. Mark Sanchez, 346 passing yards, two touchdowns. Uh, I believe a few picks. LaShawn McCoy, only 88 rushing yards. And it's it's weird. You know, when you say 88, most times it's okay. But 88 rushing yards for LaShawn McCoy, there needs to be a one in front of that eight. Just saying. Uh, Lions lose to the Cardinals, who now, hold, of course, continue to hold the best record of 9-1. and 14-6 is a victory for the Cardinals. Drew Stan, 306 yards. All right, then. And the Patriots, again, like I was saying, to continue to dominate. Beat the Indianapolis Colts 42 to 20. Tom Brady, 257 yards. Jonas Gray, here are his stats for people that did not have him on your fantasy team, and that's most likely about 99.9% of that of all of y'all. And only the that 0.1% is probably his family. 38 rushing uh, carries, 199 rushing yards, four rushing touchdowns. And for the Colts. No ground game whatsoever. If Andrew Luck is your leading rusher, you know you're not you're not gonna win the game. 
15 rushing yards for Andrew Luck. He was a leading rusher. Have a Kobe Fleener, though, at tight end. Seven reception, 144 yards. Trying to look at the bright spots for the Colts. You know, always got to look for the bright spots. Uh, and then tonight, I believe, is going to be one of the best Madden, or Madden, excuse me, uh, Monday night football games uh, th- this year. The Pittsburgh Steelers on the road in Tennessee to play the Titans. Uh, Zach Mettenberg will get the start once again for the Titans, which I'm hoping he does very well. I believe in him. I believe in him. I, I believe he's one of the best quarterbacks, rookie quarterbacks out there. Just needs some time. Probably another wide receiver or so. And the Steelers just on a roll. That offense is exciting to watch. Le'Veon Bell running back um, and, and their stable of wide receivers that they got. Very exciting to watch. Uh, that is tonight on ESPN, 7.30 Central Time. And that is it for today's show. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm glad to be back. And next week, I'll have finally my new computer set up. Hopefully no viruses. And we are good to go. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for wa- Oh, yeah, that's what I forgot. Microphone. Going to buy a brand new microphone. So if you think this quality is okay-ish or good... It's about to get even better. It's going to be top notch. Uh, if you guys have not heard the podcast on iTunes and I believe somewhere else, uh, Solid Verbal, that is a very funny and entertaining podcast. I, I look up to those guys. Those guys do an excellent job. Uh, I actually got to talk to Ty. Uh, I don't, don't remember his last name. He's one of the hosts. Got to talk to him on through email. Asked him what microphone he used because, uh, you know, I was listening to the podcast. And I was like, man, the voice is so clear, crisp, cool, HD quality. I, w- I want my show to sound like that. So I talked to him about it and he told me what it was. I'm going to go buy it. I just need to look for an amp. So I'll probably get that about next week or two weeks from now. Uh, so very excited for that. So the quality, sh- the quality of the show is going to get even better. And thank you guys so much for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, whether you're listening on Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, leave a rating, whatever it may be. Share it with your friends and family. Let them know where you get their, where you get your sports show talk from. Um, what else? Monday, next Monday, I'm going to see what we're going to do. I'll probably even have my show uh, might be next week because of Thanksgiving and because of work. They're going to make us work like 20 hours of overtime next week. So Monday might be try to might be hard to get off. Um, so I'm going to see maybe doing the show sat, excuse me, Sunday night. Might do it Sunday night. Uh, or at least half of the show talk about college football sometime during this uh, Sunday. And then maybe I'll you know, wake up really early Sunday or Monday morning, finish off the show. Uh, with in you know, the NFL since you know Sunday night games and whatnot, and then upload it sometime during Monday, or it might might, might even just upload it on Thanksgiving Day. Who knows for Thanksgiving? But anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. Be sure to share it with your friends, leave a like. Uh, if you're following me on Twitter, be sure to hit that retweet button. Let you know, let everybody know where you listen to your sport news from. Download today's podcast and past podcasts on iTunes. Again, thank you guys so much for listening. I will see you guys next Monday morning. As always, God first, God bless. I am out. Peace.